Hi everybody, this is Kimberly and it's a Friday morning. I just wanted to share with you a little bit about what happens on a day when I am not in the office and what we do around our small farm here. Today is actually, we're in March, mid-March, and our bees have nothing to uh, eat. So yesterday when I was out doing a nature walk in our back property, I noticed that they were all flying around but they didn't have anything to eat. I had something, actually I had a bright purple shirt on and they were actually trying to like come at me to, to think if I was a flower. So they're looking for food right now. So this morning I'm actually getting together some food for them. So I wanted to share with you what I do. I created the sugar syrup and uh, this is actually two cups of sugar to one cup of water, just standard sugar. If you look at the top of this bottle, it actually is has holes in it. And I'm gonna put it on a feeder on the front of my hive. And this feeder will actually feed them for at least a couple of days. And I'll kinda, I'll take you out with me so you can see the hives and you can see what my bees look like. And hopefully, I'm actually doing this fairly early. It's about nine in the morning, so that it's a little bit cooler yet. It's still in the 30s before they start moving around. It kind of was, starts to get up to the mid 40s. They get a little snarky and a little bit irritable, so they don't love me around their hive at that time. But I will be in full gown, so you'll see what a beehive suit looks like too. But um, stick around and I'll show you my bees. Okay, hi everybody. We're just gonna head out to my hives. I have my feeder on top of my hive, or on top of my, my bottle of sugar water. I have my hive tools and my suit on because right now they're again a little snarky because they're a bit hungry. But back here behind these pines, this row of pines, I actually keep four hives. And we're going to be dealing with hive number three today. So I'll take you back here. Grace will show you what our hives look like. So here's hive number three. I don't get any closer than about here before I actually finish putting the rest of my, my gown, <gasps> gown on. But you know what I forgot? I forgot my gloves. So hold on one second. And ta-da, the magic of editing. Got my gloves. I have my veil on, my hive tools, and my food. So I'm gonna run over here to my hive. You'll see that this hive actually is has tar paper on it, which I need to take off. Yesterday it was in the mid 50s and actually my bees, I think were a little upset because they're probably a little bit warm. Bees always keep the hive about 93 degrees in temperature. So in the middle of winter, the hive group gets down pretty small. And with that, um, I wanna make sure that we actually help support that heat production by having that black on the outside. And Grace, you're gonna come on the front so you can see white bees in front of the hive. I'll just stand by the... So this is what the front of the hive looks like. And you can see there's actually a couple of bees here because there's a port right here, an airport where they can get out. But they've been cleaning out the hive. And through the winter, some of the bees do die. So they're just cleaning house. So I'm gonna help them clean a little bit and just scrape some of this yuck off. And I do actually have a large, uh, I do have um, the wide open here. So I'm just gonna yank this out. And they might, you're gonna see some, you see a little bit of propolis in there as well, but I'm just gonna actually dump that off. I need this to actually be upright. So you see this wide? This is where my feeder is gonna go in. So I'm just gonna put it back in the same place, but just flip it around. Right now my bees aren't moving too much. They're a little mad because I just banged on their hive. That's expected. But I have to get the, the thing back in for them so that they can actually, and they don't know if I'm friend or foe. So you'll see one's actually here on the front of my, my veil. He's, uh, he's one of the guard bees. So he's just guarding the front entrance. So here I'm gonna do this. And they're gonna be happy here pretty quick with me because I'm putting food on for them. So there's their food. And once they're done being mad at me, they'll go, oh yeah, she just put food on here for us. On top here, I'm gonna open the top up because they're a little distracted. Here I actually had a moisture board because the bees with the heat do create moisture through the winter. And I'm just gonna take a peek and see what is actually happening in here. So I'm gonna come and grab this so you guys can see what's actually happening inside. But you see in here, there's these sugar patties. I've had to make sugar patties about a month ago so that they could actually stay alive as well because they've been active all winter. And when I checked the hive, the hive actually had no more honey in. I left hundred pounds of honey in this hive, but by the end of January, early February, when it got warm enough for me to check it, 
they had already ate all that honey. So they would have starved by now and my whole hive would have died had I not actually put those sugar patties in there. So, well, they're all finding the, the sugar syrup right now. So today they should be fairly happy. And it's supposed to be a warm day today. And for the next 10 days, there's no signs of any freezing. That's how I can put an external feeder on. I'll leave the internal sugar patties on until they're gone, which is about another week. They should be completely gone. And this will last just a couple of days because they're really happy and they're hungry. But the first thing they're looking for is dandelions and there's no dandelions in sight yet. Although some of our herbs are coming up already, but still no dandelions. So thanks for joining me this morning and checking out my hives with me and uh, make it a great day. It's Friday, so find something fun to do. See you guys.